Hi guys, it's Terrain and welcome to my channel. I want to wish you all a blessed and prosperous new year. Today's video is about the top three things I learned in 2017. Number one, this is a Yoruba proverb that I read in Philip Neymar's book. It goes like this. It's easier for a man to change his destiny than his character. I repeat, it's easier for a man to change his destiny than his character. So what does this mean? This means that we are in control of our destiny. The Yoruba believe that before we come to earth, we choose our destiny. And while on earth, it's our responsibility to find what our destiny is, or some would say our calling. I know many of us are in bad situations, but just remember, you have the power to change that. I have the power to change that. And if you don't believe me, let's look at the designer Coco Chanel. She was orphaned at age 12 and sent to live at a monastery. And she famously said, my life didn't suit me, so I created my life. What did she do? She moved from an orphan to a seamstress to a chorus singer into, into this global superstar, this mega designer whose clothes are coveted to this day. Her emblem is one of the most recognizable emblems in fashion. She changed the world. So whatever your situation is, you can change it. If you have 10 cents in your pocket today, you can have $100 next week. It's up to you to make the change and kickstart. Remember, the universe is there to assist you, whatever you need. Whatever you put out, you'll get. Remember that. And number two. Number two, I read in the book called Ori, which translates to head. Yeah, just tap my head for no reason. This Yoruba proverb goes like this. No deity can give you what the head won't accept. I repeat, no deity or deity can give you what the head won't accept. And this was very crucial for me to read because I was in a position where I needed, that, needed to receive that message. So what does this mean? This basically means you have to always be open to receive your blessings. Because we block our blessings all the time, I have countless examples of when I block blessings. You know how much money I could have had this day if I was more open and receptive towards certain things, except sometimes I think, oh, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> After I read that, I became even more aware of my actions. So I don't I no longer write people or situations off so easily. I'm open. You know the story of the guy who was drowning? This story has been told millions of times, probably billions of times. He was in the sea, he was drowning, and help came several times. There was like a boat, a helicopter, and something else. And he refused the help because he said he was waiting for God to come and save him. But guess what? God did come to save him. He didn't come by himself, but he sent help. So we have to be open and more mindful. And I see women do this a lot. Not bashing women or anything, but I see women do this a lot. They always say, oh, I need a husband. But he should have no kids. He needs a six-pack abs. He should have his own house. He should have a million-dollar job. And he should be a really great person. But they meet the guy who is for them, but he has a child, doesn't have a car, doesn't own his own home, but he's on the journey to achieving all that. And then guess what? You shut him out. Then you sit and like, oh God, send me a husband every day. And you don't even realize what you're doing to yourself. So, always be open to receiving your blessings. Number three, I've learned how to trust my intuition. What do you want to call it? Instinct? The gut feeling? Your higher self? I've learned to trust my intuition. And this wasn't always easy. My intuition has never led me wrong. Yes, 
my intuition sometimes can be quite inconvenient. Like, it inconveniences me sometimes, but it's for the best. This year, for sure, I learned to trust my intuition even more. See, I was in a situation where um, I had this really good friend, and we have a great relationship, right? There was no bad blood, nothing. But I started noticing some little, tiny, minute things. Which isn't a make or break, right? And my intuition was on me to end that friendship. And I couldn't bring myself to end it. Because who ends a good friendship for no reason, right? But after a month, because this lasted for a month. Initially I thought, oh, maybe I'm just in the moment. But after a month of constantly being pounded with this, and this friendship, and this friendship, and this friendship, because I had no reason to end this friendship. And eventually I sat and I made a decision, I need to end this friendship. Because my intuition is being consistent here. So I did end up ending the friendship and to put it lightly, it was for the best. There in that moment, I had no idea why, but later on I would realize that my intuition was saving me from future trouble and drama. Always learn to trust your intuition. Your intuition can save your life. Trust me on that. I know for some people their intuition is very cloudy, it's not clear, but just take some time to meditate, clear your mind, consciously breathe, and after a while it'll become more clear. You will know when your intuition is speaking to you and not just some random thoughts going through your head. And that's all I learned in 2017. And have a great year, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Terrain. Subscribe.